Okay. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Audrey. I drive and film at the same time. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I don't a lot of the time. I try not to. Could put this on my thing that like is my car tripod, but where's the fun in that? There's not. Okay, so basically what I am heading to do is I am heading to go get my lips done. So this is my second time getting lip injections. I've gotten lip injections one time before and I got them done back in February of this year. Or no, it was January, sorry. It was January of this year. It is now almost June. It's almost five months after. I don't know, who knows? I can't tell time, can you? But basically, when I got them done the first time, I was only home for a short period of time. So I wasn't able to do like the two week follow up appointment or anything like that. And I only got, you know, like part of a syringe, maybe like 0.7 of a syringe. So this time we are going to, I don't know how much we're gonna do, like, they're fine right now, but I think I want them a little bit, you know, I want them more plump. Like that's how I wanted them before uh, and that's how I want them now because I think that it has dissolved a little bit but yeah so we are going to Springhouse Dermatology and Dr. Margaret Weissar is going to be doing my lip injections she did them before she's great she is a theater gal like me so I love chatting with her about that but they do an amazing job and it's located in Springhouse Pennsylvania so if you live in the Philadelphia area she is like you know one of the best doctors in Philly like on in Philly mag so definitely check her out and go to spring house they do a ton of different treatments like outside of lip injections they do facials vampire facials derm plating it, just like any kind of treatment you could ever want they most likely have it but yeah I'm going there we're going to probably get maybe half a syringe and then see how it looks in two weeks and then add more in two weeks but I'm just gonna bring you guys along so you can see what the experience is like getting lip injections I mean I feel like they're almost back down to their normal size like they're not that big right now they were not almost back down to their normal size you'll see when I went into the office and they showed me the before and after pictures the filler had not even remotely dissolved. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but that's great news because my filler does last for like eight to 12 months. So yeah. But here, I'll show you what they look like before. My lips are pretty, but like, we can add more. We can add more and we're going to. But yeah, I really like lip injections, they're fun. Um, okay, I'm also gonna make a TikTok, so give me a sec. Look, this is what the office looks like. So pretty. But it really is so nice in here, like that's an air purifier. So, you know it's clean. <laughs> this chair is super comfy. Can I get one for my house? Yeah, but that's crazy. Yep. Oh my God. Yeah. So here's a clearer picture of what Dr. Weissar was showing me. She was basically just showing me what my lips looked like right when I came in initially before ever having them done and what they looked like when I came back in in May. And clearly not a lot of filler dissolved at all. Wow. <laughs> and here I was, I was like, I was talking in the, in the car before and I was like, I was like, no, I feel like they're kind of like almost back to normal. Yeah. Like, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. January. January. So February, March, April, May. So this is four months. Yeah. And you know, normally it's gonna last you eight, nine months. So you're yeah. like halfway through. So yeah. obviously you still have quite a bit there. Yeah. And if we do more, you're gonna be how yeah, like now I would call you like natural full. Yeah. But doing more, you're gonna have to you know, the volume. Yeah. The volume. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah. Okay. And I want Volume. Okay. So, oh my God, this did her. You have to see. I did like half a syringe. She did a tiny amount. She nah. Did, like half a syringe, and then and she looked great. Yeah. And she had never had a lip done before, and then you showed her the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, I, you were like, I, I, I have never seen anybody get this roll. That is. I was like, this is why I was afraid to do it. Is it a week now? That we. Not. 
I guess, yeah, it would be like, maybe, like a week tomorrow. So, yeah. yeah, so they're maybe really? a week and they're down to that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. There you go. So yeah. That's crazy. They were so swollen. <laughs> but I think that's a really important message to you to tell people about. Yeah. Because people do freak. Yes. I've seen it. Oh, I, I can, I'll like insert that. the pictures of me crying. <laughs> So yeah, I was absolutely freaking out for no reason at all. Also, why does my voice sound like this? I don't know. But I was also depressed at this time, but that's another story. Back, I'm just gonna clean you off a little. You don't have anything on your skin, do you? Uh, not on my skin, I just had the, uh, I just had, <laughs> I had that like lip balm on. Okay, that's fine. All right, you ready? Yeah. So just go ahead and like relax your mouth open just a tiny bit. So here she is just putting the numbing cream on my lips and then they keep it on for I think 15 minutes, but yeah. I'm really doing my best not to get it in your mouth. <laughs> so we're gonna let you sit for like 10 minutes or so with right. that. I'll hand you a tissue so that if you get it in your mouth at all, you can have somewhere to put it. It gets so numb. Don't put your tongue out. I think I just swallowed it. They shouldn't leave me alone in here. It's gonna be antibacterial. Uh, can you feel your face at all? Uh, yeah, I can feel my face, but in my lips, not really. Here is a quick needle warning. So if you don't like needles, skip to 758. Ooh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just open for a second. Okay, sorry, my camera died when I was there, but basically I've just been going about my day and they have lost their numbness. They're starting to bruise a little and I'll insert the pictures and videos of right after. I was like, oh my God, I'm Kylie Jenner. And I was really worried because she ended up putting in more than what we said we would do. We were gonna do half of the syringe, but then she ended up putting in like most of the syringe. And at first I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, like, they're too much, like I don't know what I'm gonna do, like I'm gonna have to get these dissolved, but I'm starting to get used to them, so I mean, we'll see. The last time that I got them done, I was a lot more worried because it was going right back to school since I wasn't able to do a two week follow-up appointment. So this time I'm able to do the two week follow-up. I'm not too worried. They should go down like 50% from what they're at right now. I think they're only just gonna look better than when they started. Like what I like about what they look like right now is they look so smooth. Like there's no lines on them, which I really like. And initially like that was like one of the things that I wanted. Like if I'll show you the all the before and after pictures because they're gonna send them to me of like the, the day I was in the office like the side-by-side -side of literally like everything and you'll see how they grow and get prettier like it's not like they're getting like more fake or anything they're, it's always keeping my natural shape but making them more even with less lines and just like more plump and pretty so yeah this is what we're like, I don't know, probably like 11 hours after. So not bad. Um, and I'll keep you guys updated. And I'll do daily updates and we'll see how they go. Oh, and I went and got Arnica because you should definitely take Arnica before and after, but I forgot to take it before this time. Stupid of me, I know, but you know, whatever. You forgot to do things. I'm also like kind of icing them with my bubbly water. It feels really nice because it's not too cold. 
But I should probably put my ice pack in the freezer. Yeah, we'll put this in the freezer so I can use it. Look how cute. Smells dermatology. Adorbs, okay. If you live in the Philadelphia area, like as in, you know, like PA suburbs of Philly, near Spring House, Pennsylvania, um, they said that if you mention my name when scheduling your appointment, you can get $100 off of lip injections. So, I would go do it. They're the best. I mean, $100 off is a ton, so definitely take advantage of it if you are from around here. It's super kind of them to do. I'll keep you guys updated. Bye. Okay, so it's day two after getting my lips done. This is what they look like. They're not super bruised, just super swollen. My friends are answering my Snapchats and screenshotting them. And I'm like, guys, don't do me like that. They don't hurt, they're just like, if you're someone who gets really like irked by a feeling like this, it's kind of like, it just feels like tight. You know what I mean? Like there's filler there, there's something there. So you're like, oh my God, it's tight. So you have to wait for the swelling to go down for it to like ease up and feel more normal again. So it doesn't feel normal, but it's not like uncomfortable necessarily. You can't like purse your lips together. I'm like, I'm like mm, no. I tried to sleep pretty elevated last night. Kind of hard, but trying our best out here. I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes with my lips. I mean, they're not that bruised yet. Yet is the keyword. And I'm going down the shore this weekend, so this is just gonna be hilarious to like go to the bar. It's like the first time that people aren't wearing masks, so people are gonna be like, are you good? I'm gonna be like, just look on my Instagram. I got lip fillers. We're just, you know, we're dealing with the healing. <laughs> okay, so it's Friday. I got my lips done on Wednesday. They're like, knock on wood, not bruising as bad as they did last time. I mean, it's 48 hours after now, and I feel like when I got them done before, I feel like they were a lot more bruised at this point. So I got them done on January 29th, and then on January 31st, they were pretty bruised. So that was two days after, and they were pretty bruised. So, they're like looking good, I don't know, I mean, surprised that they're not as bruised as they were. Hopefully they stay this way. It's a little more swollen on this side than it is on this side, but that's like normal. I feel like that happened last time too. I feel like my this side swells a little bit more and it ends up being a little more bumpy. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated though. Okay, update to the lip fillers. So it is now day five. I think the last time I updated it was day two. It's now day five. So surprisingly, they've only really bruised right there. Not. Knock on wood, I've been down the shore this whole weekend and I was like drinking and stuff and I mean, you're kind of supposed to like stay away from alcohol, I think. Well, I think it makes bruising worse. I don't know, I have no idea. I'll look it up, then I'll let you guys know. So it turns out I was right. Alcohol acts as a blood thinner, so it says here that you should avoid alcohol after lip injections for at least 24 hours. I, it was like 48 hours after though, when I started drinking. Now that I think about it, I might go grab a glass of wine. <laughs> but they look good. I want them to go down a little bit. They're definitely still swollen. Like they don't feel normal. Up close like this, they don't look like super awesome because you know, they are bumpy and swollen. But from afar, you can't really tell. I've just been putting my lip gloss on like it's my job. Cause I'm it's almost like a lip mask. That's what I would say. But yeah, that's my day five update. I'll let you know if anything changes. Okay, bye. Okay, hello you guys. It's probably a week or two after I last updated you. Sorry if you hear the sound of the rain. It is pouring right now, but. So I'm heading back to Springhouse Durham for my two week follow up appointment, but it's gonna be more of like a three and a half week, four week follow up because I got these done May 27th and it's now June 22nd. The only reason I'm so late going back is because I was away last week, so I wasn't able to go in then, so I'm going in this week. So the last time I got my lips done, I wasn't able to go to my two week follow-up appointment because I headed straight back to school. So this is gonna be an entirely new experience for me. I've never gone for like follow-up. I think they're gonna take like before and after pictures that I'll show you guys. And then I think Dr. Weissar has a little bit of my syringe left, so she might put in a little bit more or like even some things out but I think they look pretty awesome so I don't really know if I even want to add more right now unless like she thinks something really needs to be evened out like I think they look good I would be perfectly happy leaving with how they look right now so we're gonna see I'm heading there right now I'm late per usual but yeah this is what they look like
Um, okay, that person's about to hit me, but whatever. Doesn't even matter. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Okay, bye. I also forgot to mention that the filler that I get is Ristaline Kiss. I think it's used Ristaline or Ristaline Kiss. I don't really know how you say it, but that's the type of filler I get. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me take a look. Okay. They look gorgeous. I know. They really do. Yeah. I mean, so I, good. we have a tiny little bit left. Hi. Hi. Photos. Oh my god, yeah. They look amazing. They look, no, they literally look so good. Are you still planning to do? No, I, I mean, I think, yeah, I don't think feel like, I don't think we need it. So here are my before and after pictures and you can see the entire progression of my lip filler journey. The only thing I would say, there's such a tiny little bit, I just want to see, like we could, if you want, just, oh, you, I mean, that's not a mirror, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> look at the mirror, we could, if you want, like put a tiny little bit in Oh, on that line? If you want, we could just use it there. <laughs> <laughs> no! Really? Oh my god, that line is so annoying. Okay. Wait, well, like actually? Yeah, why not? Yeah. I mean, all right. I didn't know we have very that. little bit, but let's do what we can with okay. it. Okay. And you know, why not, yeah. right? Why not? Okay. So this is actually cool and it'll be fun to show. So this, yeah. this device helps you see here. Give me your hand. Okay. So there's your hand, right? Uh huh. You can sort of see a little bit of where your veins are, a little yeah. bluish. <laughs> So, you know, one of the things that people hate the most is getting bruised and we have yeah. to do it. Yeah. So this helped me to see what's going on at least superficially under the skin. So uh -huh. let's look at your face. Okay. So if we are looking at that area, so that's just the line itself. And I don't see a real vessel around there, but like if we look like here, you can <gasps> see, oh like God. if we were to inject around there, you might wow. get a bruise if we didn't know. And it can be just a that's like one so millimeter to one side versus one millimeter to the other side that's gonna be the difference between yeah. no bruise and a bruise. Wow! So like see that. That's really so helps. cool. So oh, that's awesome. So we use that device when we're injecting to, you know, again, minimize. Okay. So I'm just gonna have you lean your head back. Okay. I have a little Let makeup on clean. right there. Yeah, I'm just going to clean everything off. For sure. I'm really targeting. Yeah, you do have some makeup. <laughs> Let's do another one. Just on the Sorry, I didn't <laughs> think I was getting filler on my one line. So you can use this type of filler around your mouth as well? So fillers come in sort of all different grades of textures. Let's do okay. that way. Kiss, because you're using it for the lift, is a softer texture filler, so I can use that in superficial, um, superficial areas. Here's another needle warning, so if you don't like needles, skip to 1910. And this does have some numbing in it, so okay. the thing about the lip is definitely more yeah. sensitive. You know, this area you can do. It's almost gone already. Really? I'm going to do a little bit of molding. And first put it mm -hmm. in smile. And then off. And you can see, of course, it's just right where you smile, right? Mm hmm. Let's see. Wow. Oh my god. It's gone. It's gone. Now, when you smile, of course, that's right. You can increase that. Yeah. But, you know, let me see the other side. You don't really have one. I don't have one on that side. No. Isn't that interesting? Just, yeah. Yeah. Do you sleep on this side? Maybe, I guess. It's just people tend to get a little bit more using on the side that they sleep on. Okay. Okay. I think you're good. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited! So Wait, that's you awesome. Can put makeup over that if you okay. Because you're going to be just a tiny bit red, right in that one okay. little section there. And of course, any little bit of fullness will settle down, just like in the left. Okay. Won't be as full. Okay. Cool. cool. All right. Oh my God. Didn't know I was getting I was getting that line taken yeah, care of today, but that is a pleasant perfect. surprise. <laughs> Oh, it's well, great. Was, Thank you. Kidding. And yeah, that is it for the video. Sorry, I have my retainer in, but um, here's a close-up of my lips. I love them. Dr. Weissar does such a good job. And the line that I got filler put in um, is non-existent. 
and you can't even tell that there's filler there. I'm so excited about it. But overall, I definitely recommend lip filler if you're looking into it. Just make sure that you go to a good doctor who's reputable and, and even better if you know somebody who's been to them and you can see what their lips look like so you can kind of gauge what your lips might look like. And if you live in the Philadelphia area, definitely check out Springhouse Derm for any of your medical or cosmetic dermatology needs. They do facials, cool sculpting, the whole nine yards. Any treatment you could want, they probably have. But yeah, if you liked today's video, please hit the like button because that really helps me out with YouTube's algorithm and then it helps my videos show up in search results more. Guys, my retainer, I literally can't. And consider hitting that subscribe button because I would appreciate it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.